set the current homework date for this Sunday night at midnight. Um, we may not actually get that far. We'll see. But if we get that far, it'll stay there. If we get bogged down, I might push it back. Okay? But I think we're on track to get done in time. How y'all doing? Has anybody noticed the homework on WebAssign yet? Yeah? Okay, good. Uh, <clears throat> also, um, every time I record a class, I, I just post it to the class website. So, um, and the way you get to my website is any email from me. There's a link at the bottom of the email, so you can go to my website from there. And then, you know, so if you're ever sick, that's where I'll put the the link to the uh, to the to the class from the previous day. And uh, there you go. You can also use them if you need to go back and reference what you've done. Why isn't this turning on? I thought I hit it, turned it on twice. The little light says it's turning on. Oh, that's new. Has it done the sharp thing previously? Maybe I just need to, oh, there it goes. Okay, now my computer says it got found. There we go. Well, I think we left off on this problem here. Isn't that where we left off? And as I recall, all we did was write down what we know and need to know, right? We haven't gotten any further than that. Um, <clears throat> so, what we know is the initial velocity is 60 meters per second. Did we break that down? Was that in the notes from last time? I think we got that far, didn't we? So, now that we have the x part and the y part from the triangle on Monday, do y'all remember that? Can we rewrite this in vector form? So the scalar is, well, let me try it. 60 meters per second at 60 degrees. That's vector form, amount, direction, right? High school format. How do we write it now? In the IJK format, how do we rewrite that? First, write the x piece. What, what, what's the, so what's the v not x? We fit it, found it yesterday, or Monday. 30. 30. So you write 30 i hat. Plus, what's the y component? 43.43. J hat meters per second. So these are two ways to write vector. They're both legal. There's nothing wrong with either one, but this is the one I'm trying to get you used to now because you're going to this is what as you move on in physics, we don't ever go back to this. This this, this is where it stays. <clears throat> okay, so we so we've got uh, initial velocity and the question is first question where does it land how should i write that up here what should i write up here is our the thing we don't know let's write so yeah that so we're looking for delta x okay what's this one what is maximum height we can write that a couple different ways sure or how about uh well, delta, uh, how about y max? That'll work. And we could, we could probably be more careful with this one too, because delta x can, is kind of generic. It, it could mean 
delta x at this point or delta x at that point. See what I'm saying? Y max is specific. It means the tallest y. This is kind of generic. It could mean lots of different things. Can we make this more specific? What should we, how can we make this more specific? How about x final? Where's the ending point over there? Yes? It's actually 51.16. I'll type it in. This one is? OK. Did anybody else punch those out? It's usually better if you get multiple calculators on it. OK. Okay. Is this in your notes from yesterday, from Monday? Yeah? Not the vector. Well, not the vector format, but the triangle where we had V naught here and the X and Y, V naught X, V naught Y, all of these are vectors, and we found this angle, or we were given that angle. And we found this was V naught cosine theta, this is V naught sine theta. I remember all that algebra from Wednesday. So all those equations are there. I don't think we wrote it out like this, but I was just How using. Did you get that? Just theoretically, like, you Thank you for asking that. Okay, so here's the way you got to do this. You got to start with the picture, and okay, so you write down what you know and need to know, and then draw a picture. I'm cheating because I've got the picture up here. <laughs> okay, so in your notes you need to draw the picture, but then you what you got to do is you got to look at the initial velocity vector. See how there's this blue line that's tangent to the orange curve there, right at the start point. That's your initial velocity vector. With that initial velocity vector, this is it, I drew, redrew it here. So that I'm just looking at that, that blue vector there. I put it here. And now, because it's a crooked vector, I can draw x and y. Once you draw x and y, then you say, hey, that's a right triangle. I can throw a trig at this. And so now you say, OK, this side and this side, that's cosine. So cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, v naught x over v naught. So now I can find v naught x by multiplying my v naught up here. So this is going to be v naught cos theta. And that's how we got this number. And then we do the same thing with this, these two, only this is opposite in hypotenuse, so now we're going to use sine. So sine theta is v naught y over v naught. And now we do the algebra again, so we send your v naught up here. So now we say v naught y is equal to v naught sine theta. And that's how we got this number. OK? So our, our two components. And if there was a third, if it was coming out of the board, then we'd write a, a k hat part. But it's not coming out of the board, so it only had two dimensions. Does that clarify that? OK. Does so everybody, don't forget, when I was in the class that you're in now, every test, every homework, before I even get started, first thing I do is write so ka toa right at the top. Just because you know there's going to be triangles. You know you got to figure out which one's adjacent and hypotenuse and opposite. And you're going to have to use trig functions. And so I just write that right at the top every time. When y'all learned it, did y'all use this one? OK, so Katoa. Uh, there's various versions of this. There's a Sally. How did that go? Something about apples and heaps and I don't remember. Various mnemonic tools to help you memorize it, but I just always do Sokotoa. Just spell it right. When I was in trig, I still used Sokotoa, but I spelled it wrong. I spelled so like that. Man, I, I flunked that test. <laughs> just spell it right and you'll do all right. <clears throat> OK. <clears throat> Anyway, where are we go? So uh, where does the projectile land? What is the maximum range? What is the final 
velocity, okay, so I'm going to write that. Hey, what's the difference between these last two? What is the final speed and what is the final velocity? Which one is the vector? Velocity is the vector. That means how much and which way. This one is the scalar, and that just means how much. And when we say how much and which way, what we mean now is write it in IJK. Okay? So now, you can look at this picture and you can see, look at that, that final velocity vector is going to be down this way. See that? So we're going to have to figure out those two components for that triangle that's going down there. But that's the last question, so we'll save that for later. Okay? Y'all okay so far? Any more questions? These are good questions so far. Okay. Well, uh, this is the procedure every time we have a parabolic motion. Okay? Take your initial velocity vector, break it down every single miserable time. <laughs> then, x, y, independent. Right? This, these three steps every time. Break down initial velocity vector, split it up, x and y. This is what you're going to do every time. Okay? So, we've already done this. We did that last week with a, with a reminder today. So now, we'll do x. So I'm breaking down my x motion here. I'm just, I just label it with, I'm not saying x is a vector, I'm just saying my x work is going to be down here. The work in the x direction is what, this, is what I'm trying to say here. Okay? Should I use equation number three here? Why not? Why isn't there acceleration in the x direction? Because gravity goes down, not sideways, right? So there's going to be acceleration in the y direction, but not in the x direction. Fair enough? So which equation should we use? Number one. So we're going to say velocity in the x direction is equal to delta x over t. Now, the thing we're looking for, the answer to the first question is right here. Now, let me ask you a question. This is buried in the nuances of this stuff here, okay? I'm saying this is the answer. And then you say, but I thought we were looking for that. And I'm saying, yes. <laughs> how can these be the same? <laughs> That's my question for you now. How, how, are these the same? And how do you know? Why are they the same? The initial, um, one is yeah. What does delta mean? Change. Change, which means what? Final minus initial. Final minus initial. So in this case, it's final x minus initial x. So this is going to be x final minus x initial over time. That's what the triangle means, right? But what's x initial? Look at your graph. Where does it start? Okay, well... You know what? I better draw that so I, cause I can't really draw on the TV. So, is it okay if I erase this? You all okay with that? Okay. So, um, we need a coordinate system. So, there's x, there's y. Of course, the, where they intersect, that's the origin, that's zero. And our the thing we're throwing, whatever this is, a projectile, starts up here at y equals 200. y initial is 200. And it goes in this projectile motion from up there like this, right? But where is x initial? At zero. Does that make sense to everybody? So y initial is not zero, but x initial is for this problem. Okay, so for this problem, this is zero. So x final minus zero is x final. So x final is delta x. Do y'all see how those nuance, nuances kind of played out there? Okay, well, that's looking good. Well, we're looking for delta x, but we don't know t. We do know vx. What's vx? 30. 30. We already figured that out, right? Okay, so we know Vx, that's 
Now, I'm, I, know, I know I've gone over this a million times, but I'm just going to beat this dead horse one last time. <laughs> I thought that was the initial velocity in the x-direction. This is the velocity in the x-direction along the way. How can we say this is this? There's no acceleration in the x direction. So what you start with is what it is along the way, is what it is at the end, because it doesn't accelerate. Is everybody happy with that? OK, I'll try not to hit, hit that dead horse anymore. I'm done with that one. OK, well, one equation, two unknowns. Can't answer the question now. What are we going to do? Let's go to our second set of equations, and that's going to be in the y direction. So I'll work that out. Uh, well, I'll just do it right here. So in the y direction, which equation should we use? Let's, let's try number three, and I'll rewrite it in terms of y. Delta y is equal to v naught y times t plus one half a y times t squared. <coughs> What's delta y? Ooh, why'd you put a negative on there? Y'all see that? Starts high, ends low. What's y final? You see that? It ends on the ground. So this delta, which is final minus initial, final is zero. Initial is positive 200, so zero minus 200 is negative 200. So you can do the math like that, or you can just say, that thing's going down and say it's negative 200. That works too. Does that make sense to everybody? OK, so uh, this number here, we know it's negative 200. What's v naught y? Do we know that one? Yeah, we have that one figured out already, right? And this one is v naught. Now wait, wait, wait. Is this the initial, is this the velocity in the y direction along the way? No, why? This one is accelerating. Gravity's pulling it. It's getting fat. Well, to start with, it's getting slower, 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 then faster, 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 right? In the y direction. So we can only use initial velocity here. There is no, to say velocity along the way is kind of a meaningless statement. It's perpetually changing, right? So this is your uh, 51.96. What's that? Yep. Negative 9.81, okay. There we go. Hey, we know everything in the y direction except for one thing. We can solve for that now. Oh, but wait a second. We got a t squared and a t. Oh, that's painful. What are we going to do? The only way to solve this is with your favorite friend, the quadratic equation. Everybody loves the quadratic equation, right? Usually there's a groan. Oh, quadratic equation. Okay, how does the quadratic equation work? If, it's an if-then statement. You've got to have both parts, right? If you have something that looks like this, some constant times the thing you're looking for squared plus some constant times the thing you're looking for not squared plus some constant no thing you're looking for all equals to zero. If you have that, by the way, what are we looking for over here? Are we looking for x? No, we're looking for t this time, okay? But this is just the general format equation, okay? The, the thing you're looking for could be x or t or y or doesn't matter, q, whatever. If that's the case, then the answer is, the thing you're looking for is negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac whole shebang over 2a. Okay. Well, does this look like that? Not quite. Almost so. Can we make it look like that? What do we need to do? Delta y. Yeah, just take this delta y and send it to the other side with addition or subtraction, right? 
Well, uh, since it's negative 200, let's add it to the other side. Fair enough? Okay, so I'm going to have <coughs> 0 on the left side, because I'm going to send that over, and I'm going to write it in that order, so that the squared piece is going to go first. Okay, so I'm going to have negative 9.81 over 2 times t squared. Now I'm going to have this piece plus 51.96t plus 200 because it was minus and I had to add it to the other side. Okay, well there's your A, your B, and your C. Does this make sense to everybody? So now we can say T is equal to that equation. Negative 51.96 plus or minus square root 51.96 squared minus 4 times A, which is negative uh, 4.905 times C. And this black marker is just about toast. T, 2 times A, negative 4.905. Chair successfully defended the basket. Okay, y'all punch that out for me. I can't do that in my head. I try to do things in my head. Sometimes I get it right, but I'm not going to try with this one. I'll let y'all do that. Quadratic equation demands you get two answers. How about... Uh, well, everybody's punching that. I'll just let everybody go. <laughs> Positive, the, the, when you use the plus, what's that answer? Okay. Negative? Three nines? Okay, what's the other one? Five nine? Okay, that's a point there. Handwriting's looking sloppy. Okay, so now, this is where math and physics diverge, okay? The math department says, yes, both are viable answers. And mathematically, that's a true statement. But we don't care about what's theoretically a true answer. What we care about is, what is the answer? Does that make sense? It's, it's, it, one of these is meaningless. <laughs> Which one? How'd you know that? Time, can't be negative. time doesn't go backwards. I don't care what math department says. Time does not go backwards. It is not a viable answer. Fair enough? <laughs> okay, and now, now just to complete the, 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 the logic here. This answer here is as if it had gone this way. That's the time if you had shot it that way, which we didn't. But if we had, that would be the time, okay? This is the time that goes this way. That's the one we care about. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. <clears throat> I 
Well, we've got time now. Now what? Yeah, we, we know time now. We can solve for X final. How do we get X final by itself? Multiply both sides by T. T, T, cancel out, cancel out. X final is T times VX. VX is 30. X final is <coughs> 30 times 13.59. Okay, so what's X final? How far does this thing shoot? It's going to be a long ways. 30 times almost 14? Yeah, that's a long ways. 407? 407. Half a kilometer, almost. Four tenths of a kilometer. What's going to shoot at 200 meters per second? Can you throw that fast? <laughs> miles per hour, that's, I don't know, 350 miles an hour? Yeah, we can't throw that fast. I don't care what kind of MLB pitcher you are, that's just not happening. What's the fastest baseball pitch? 103. Nobody's throwing 350. Okay, so what's, what's pulling this off? There, there's a machine of some kind, probably a cannon, probably gunpowder involved. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so we've get answered the first part. We're making progress. How are we going to get this one? Almost a good idea. Say what you said again. So, okay, so, you're almost right, but there's a small error in logic. Did y'all catch what she said? She's so close to being right. Okay, so she's saying, take this equation, because that's your y max, it's in there, right? And you remember from math class, when, when the slope gets zero, that's the top, right? Well, just take derivative of that equation, that'll be the top. There's an error there. What's the, what's the error? It's a tricky one. Let me rephrase the question. Watch it. What's zero at the top? Velocity. Velocity is zero at the top, not position. Do you see the distinction now? That's, yeah, like if you take the derivative of that, you got velocity equation. And then you set that equal to zero. Oh, oh. No error in logic. You're doing good. I didn't even keep up with you. Okay, did y'all see that? Whew. Let me write it out. Can I erase all this? Actually, I'm going to save that picture for later. Take this equation. Delta y is equal to v naught y times t plus, uh, minus g over 2 times t squared. Take derivative. What does that give you? The derivative of this piece. Well, let's do this piece first. What's this give you? Delta y, take derivative. What's the derivative of position? Velocity. So this is velocity in the y direction. What's the derivative of this piece? Just v naught y. Minus, what's the derivative of this piece? See the two's gonna come down. It's gonna cancel out the half downstairs. You'll be left with minus gt. Minus g 
gt. Now what's the velocity in the y direction at the top? Zero. Zero. What's the velocity in the x direction at the top? 30. 30. Why? Is there some Doesn't change. X direction, velocity stays constant, never changes. It's 30 all the way through. But in the Y direction, velocity is perpetually changing. So it starts out at 51.96. By the time it gets to the top, the Y velocity is zero. And here's our equation for the Y velocity. By the way, which one is this on the Fantastic Four? This is number two. This is number two on the Fantastic Four. So if you didn't feel like taking a derivative here, you could have just grabbed number two on the Fantastic Four. Okay? Either way works. So at the top, v, y, uh, v is zero. So let's see. Zero equals V naught Y, 50. Well, I'll just leave it like that. 50. V naught y minus g times t. Do we know v naught y? Do we know g? Can we, we can get t out of that, right? How much time does it take to get to the top? That's how much time it takes to get to the top. Does that tell us the top position? How are we going to get that? Yeah. Now we take this time, plug it back in there, and that'll tell us the time at the top. Y'all doing all right? Okay, who's got a question before we do it? Any questions? Uh, yeah. So this would be V naught Y, 51.96 minus 9.81 times T equals zero. And then from there, we said T is equal to 5.29. I don't remember what the rest of the number is. Okay. And now we're going to plug all this in up here. OK, so now we're going to plug that time in up here. Now don't forget, what's this delta y mean? Final minus initial. Now final at this time is where? The top. Do you all see that? But what's initial? I'll see that? <coughs> so don't forget about that little 200 there. It'll get you. Okay? So here, let me write it all out. We're going to have, I'll use blue so we don't lose track. Or purple. Y max, the thing we're looking for, minus 200. Why did I do minus 200? Just final. final minus initial. That's what the triangle means. Okay? Equals. V naught y, 51.96 times the time, 5.2966 minus 4.905 times 5.2966 squared. That is 9.81 over 2. Now, solve it for y max. What's y max? Say it again. <clears throat> 
Okay, now notice this is legit. Great method to get there. Sorry, I thought your logic was wrong in the first place. It was right the whole time. There's other ways to get there, though. What's another way to get there? Look at your Fantastic Four. We'd like to know final position. We know initial position. We know acceleration. Equation number four could get you there in one step. You see this? Look. This is a two-step problem, actually three steps. Derivative, solve for t, find t, plug it back in. See that? Three steps. Nothing wrong with those three steps. Perfectly legal, perfectly great logic. There's nothing wrong with that. But we could have just jumped straight to equation number four. So, so notice there's not one way to do these problems. And if you do one way or the other way on the test, I don't care. If you do it right, you're, you get full credit. Okay. Should we step through the fourth uh, equation four? Y'all want to see how to do it that way? Okay, let's do that way. Um, I'm going to clear this stuff off that you have it in your notes, right? Okay, so we could have said equation number four vf squared equals v naught squared plus 2a delta y, and I'm going to put y, y. <coughs> What's vf, y, if this is our final spot? Zero. Zero. Notice there's a trick here. <laughs> What's the trick? The speed at the top in the y direction is zero. That's a trick you're going to use over and over and over. Stick it in your memory banks. It's in your little toolbox in the side of your pouch that you can pull out and work on problems with. You'll use it over and over. Okay, so anyway, this piece here is zero. What's that piece? We already got it figured out, right? What's that piece? We know everything. And, and what's delta y mean? It's final, minus initial. final minus initial. And we've already said what's final is when the speed is zero, which is at the top. So this right here is y max minus 200. And now you know everything in here except for y max. And you can solve for y max. Everybody okay? Uh, let's do some algebra here. We'll leave the zero there, but leave everything else as letters. And so we've got... Um, 0 equals v naught y squared plus 2a delta y. We want to solve for delta y, so we'll subtract all that to this side. So now we've got negative 2a delta y equals v naught y squared. Now we want to solve for delta y, so we're going to divide this negative 2a to the other side. Delta y equals v naught y squared over negative 2a. And now when you plug in those numbers up there, you see that negative and the negative A are going to become positive. <coughs> Everybody all right? Okay, we're trucking along on this problem. I think we've got this one figured out, and this one figured out. What about this one? How are we going to get this one? Yeah. Okay, so let's... The thing we're trying to figure out is the velocity vector that's tangent to the curve at that little point at the end, right down there. 
So when we break that down into its X and Y components, that's the curviest straight line I've ever seen. Let me try this again. There we go. We've got the Y component and the X component. Okay, so this is V final vector. This is V final Y vector. And this one here is V final X vector. What's that one? 30. 30. That one's the easy one, right? We can get that one. Just no math. Just already did it. Okay. That one's trickier, though. How are we going to get that one? You already said, what was your suggestion? Let's go for equation four. So let me erase this, and we'll, we'll use this equation again. Okay. And there's more than one ways to skin this cat. We could do equation three. We've already got the total time, right? We could just plug it into equation three. No, not equation three. Equation two. Equation two will get us there. But let's do for let's go for four. Okay, so we'll say vf squared equals v naught squared plus 2a delta y. This, and we're talking about the y direction, so v final y, v initial y. What's a? Negative 9.81. What's delta y? Negative 200. How do you know that? What's initial position? Y initial, 200. What's Y final? On the ground, <coughs> zero, right? So final minus initial will be negative 200. Okay, what's initial velocity in the Y direction? 51.96. No algebra necessary. Just plug and chug and hit square root. Plug the numbers in, chug out the equation, hit square root. Why, why, am, I hit, why, why am I telling you to hit square root? Because Yeah, you see that pesky square there? You gotta undo that. After you do all the plugging and chugging, then you gotta undo the square, okay? So what's final velocity in the y direction? Sixty-two point what now? Six four meters per second. Now you said negative, and you're right. Did the calculator tell you negative sixty-two point six four? Let me remind you again. I know you've heard me say it. This is not a vector equation. It will not tell you direction. Because what happens when you take square root? Right. What's the square root of four? Plus or minus. Two, right? It could be plus or it could be minus. You never know. Does that make sense? And so when, when we solve for this and we took square root, this could be plus and it could be minus. It doesn't tell you. You have to know. So how'd you know? Yeah, you just looked at the picture and said, that, that thing's going down there. <laughs> Y'all see that? The Y is going down here. The X is still going to the right. Does that make sense to everybody? Did you get a different answer? I got a different answer. What'd you get? Uh, 81.3869. 81.38? Mm -hmm. Six? Nine? <laughs> Wait, I heard somebody else say it. Two more people got that? Okay. I think you just got outvoted. <laughs> just as a side note, truth is not a democracy. Right? The answer is the answer, whether the majority vote for it or not. <laughs> okay, so did you see a mistake? Did you find a mistake? Okay, so th th I think the majority was right this time. This is the answer, and uh, there we go. Okay, so it's not that, but it's this. Now, and it's negative because we looked at our picture and figured that out. So, how do we write our final velocity? I J K. Thirty 
230 i hat minus 81.39 j hat, the whole thing with units meters per second. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? One last question. What's the final speed? We've got final velocity, we've got max height, we've got range. What's the final speed? What does that even mean? It's the scalar, right? This is the vector, it's got x and y. How do we get the scalar? Yeah, we, we gotta get rid of the i and the j. Can we just add those two? Uh-uh, that's wrong, don't do that. <laughs> Here's the answer. It's the green side. Do y'all see that? It's the green side of the triangle. We've got the x side and the y side. How do we get the green side? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Pythagorean theorem. So, final speed without the underline is going to be 30 squared plus 81.39 squared square root. Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. How y'all doing? Anybody get it? It's got to be bigger than 30 and bigger than 81. My guess, I'm not calculating, I'm guessing 90-ish, 92-ish? 86 points. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> What'd you say? 86.7429. Should I make that positive or negative? <laughs> it's a scalar. It has no direction. No positives or negatives. But let me argue with you for a minute. But it's going down. Shouldn't it be negative? But wait a second. Only part of it's going down. See that? The y hat part's going down. The other part's positive. What if both are negative? Then do I make it negative? Never. It's a scalar. All you write is the amount. That's all it cares about. How much? That's it. Okay. Everybody all right? Okay. Well, uh, we're done. I'm over by 30 seconds or so. And uh, I'll see y'all. I'll see half of you in lab tomorrow. And I'll see everybody in class on Friday.